I'm Matt with Mobile Solar Consulting, and I want to give you guys an overview of our latest project. We added some solar panels and batteries to a Brinkley Model G 3500. First thing I want to show you guys is the roof. This RV comes from the factory with four rich solar 200 watt solar panels. We added six more for a total of 2000 watts. This 2000 watt array is made up of two separate 1000 watt arrays. One optimized for sun coming from that direction. The other optimized for sun coming from that direction. So they're always going to get good power production no matter where they're parked. Brinkley's Model G comes with a pre-installed pipe for you to run your wires through from the roof to the pass-through area. That pipe makes a straight shot down through the roof to just above the furnace. So that's where your wires are gonna pop out. Very hard to see, but we're gonna show you a picture of what that looks like. From there, the wires run through the pass-through and into the electrical compartment. We landed those wires on PV disconnects so that for any future maintenance, the solar can simply be turned off. Next, the wires land on these two MPPTs from Victron Energy. They have Bluetooth built in so the users can see how much solar they're actually producing. To provide a central location for all the connections and fuses, we installed a Lynx distributor. I wish that the manufacturer had done the same. As we can see, the wiring from the factory is not so neat, but we didn't have the resources or the time to clean that up on this job. Last but not least, the battery bank. We installed three SOK 206 amp hour batteries. We also made sure to pre-charge these on a trickle charger for three days, make sure they're nice and topped off and balanced from the start. So they're off to the races with a fresh, perfectly balanced battery. We also moved this family's microwave over to the loads panel that's backed up by the inverter so that they can run it when they're off grid. Let me show you what that looks like. So we spent a few minutes looking for an electrical sub panel before we realized that this panel is actually split into two. From here up, these are powered by shore only. And from here down, this is a sub panel on a separate bus bar powered only by the inverter or uh, also through shore gen, but going through a automatic transfer switch so both sources aren't live at the same time. Now that gives the users five circuits and they can kind of choose whatever they want on there from the factory, comes with some general outlets, bath GFCI, garage GFCI, refrigerator, and this was previously the air compressor, but we've swapped the microwave onto this slot and moved the air compressor up to the main panel. A couple other things to note, the rich solar inverters control is just under the step there, and the battery monitor is installed from the factory in this location in the bedroom. This is a fairly simple upgrade that's gonna allow this family to power basic appliances such as the microwave, the fridge, the outlets, any 12 volt items or lights they wanna power uh, pretty much forever. So if you need help designing or installing a power system on your Brinkley RV, give us a call.